Hey everyone, welcome back to Dan's how-to videos. Today we're continuing the series on Windows 8. If you missed any of the previous videos and want to check them out, the link is in the description down below, so check it out. Today's video is going to be all about creating a custom shutdown icon or application on Windows 8. Let's get started. One of Windows 8's biggest faults, I think, is the lack of a proper shutdown icon here. I mean, there's many different ways that you can go through and shut down, but there's nothing really simple and easy. So that's why in this video, we're going to go ahead and create an icon that we can stick on our start screen here that you can just go ahead and click, and it'll basically give you the ability to shut down, restart, or put your computer to sleep. So the first thing we need to do to create a shortcut shutdown icon is to go to our desktop. Now usually you have that icon on your screen. If not, just go to the top right, open up your charms bar and click on start. Once you're on your desktop, you want to right click, go to new and you want to click on shortcut. Once you're on your shortcut screen here, there's a couple things you want to type in. So I went ahead and put a link in the description down below. That link will take you to a website that'll show you everything you need to type in depending on what you want your icon to do. Now if you want to restart it, hibernate, or sleep, they need other codes. So just be sure to check out that link if you want to do that or just follow along with the shutdown here. So once you've typed in the code for the specific icon you want to create, again we're doing the shutdown icon, you want to go ahead and click next. Now from this screen here it's going to ask you to pick a name for your icon, so we're going to call ours the shutdown icon, so we'll call it shutdown, we'll hit finish. Once your shortcut is created, it's going to look very generic, and what we want to do here is change the icon look. So you want to right click on it, click on properties, and then click on change icon. If a box pops up, just click OK, and you'll have the list of icons that you can choose from. So what we're going to do is take the generic shutdown looking icon here and click OK. Once we've done that, we'll hit OK again, and you'll see that the icon is now changed. From here, we want to move the shutdown icon to the accessories folder. So what you want to do is click on the little folder at the bottom here. It's your libraries folder. And in this box up top, you want to right click and paste in this address right here. Now this again will be available to you on the link in the description. But uh, just in case you want to type it in, there it is. Once you've done that, click on the little arrow to the right and it'll bring you to this page here. Next, we want to open up the Windows Accessories folder here, and then we're going to go back to our desktop where we have our shutdown icon. I'm just going to move it so you can see everything. And what you want to do is right click on that, click on Cut, then into your Accessories folder. We're going to right click and click Paste, and now your shutdown icon is in the Accessories folder. So now we'll just check on the application or icon, making sure that it works correctly. So we'll open up our Charms bar here, click on search and then type in whatever you called your icon. So mine being the shutdown icon, I'm gonna type in shutdown. And as you can see, it appears to the left. Now if I click on this, it's gonna shut down the computer right away. So I'm not gonna do that right now, but by all means, if you feel that you wanna check on it, make sure that it works correctly, go ahead and click on that. Now we'll go to our start menu once again, and you can see that the shutdown application has appeared on the right side. We can drag it anywhere we want on the screen here, and I think I'm going to put mine right there. And now I'll have the ability to shut down my computer anytime I want very quickly just by going to my start menu. Now again, you could do this with the shutdown, restart, sleep, or hibernate. All the links for those will be on that one link on the description, and it'll show you how to do each one of those different steps. Anyway, hopefully you found this helpful, enjoyed it, liked it. If you did, remember to hit the like button as it helps me out. Also, subscribe up top. It's free to do so, and I post videos Monday through Friday all about tech, how-tos, videos on Windows, iPhones, all kinds of stuff, and it'll let you know when I post a new one. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.